right, here we go. Welcome back to the channel. Another bat review, 2021 Meta Drop 5. U Triple SA Drop 5. They tell me it's hot, we're gonna find out. I feel good. I think my bat speed's gonna be back today. Told you I wasn't gonna get technical, so we won't go into that, but feel good. First, you know the drill. Energy drink review time. We got Monster Rehab Peach Tea. JP back. This came recommended by my son's coach. Sent me a picture of it. Says it's fire. He won't let me down. Here we go, one-handed pop. I told JP I was gonna go left-handed and I totally went right-handed. I'll go left-handed one day though. Ready? One drink, here we go. I'm actually a rehab fan. At one time, eight, seven, eight, nine years ago, I drank rehabs. This is good. I mean, this is, this, rehabs are smooth. Yeah, like Lipton, this is peach tea. Like just a, just a nice, smooth peach tea drink. Uh, this has 160 milligrams of caffeine too. So this is loaded up with caffeine. This is a good drink. Ah, man. Do I like this more than Lemon Drop Bang and Key Lime Pie Bang? Do I like this? You know, here's kind of how I rate movies. This is kind of how I rank movies. I did the Mount Rushmore baseball movies yesterday. If it's on TV and you're scrolling through the channels, which you don't really do today, but like when I was young, you scrolled through the channels. If the movie is on, do you stop and watch it? So if I walked into a store and this is the first thing I came to and I didn't see White Monster, would I buy this? Or would I buy Key Lime Pie or Lemon Drop? What would I buy? Gosh, this is tough. This is tough. What did I give the what did I give the key lime pie? Eight and a half? The the vanilla, the black cherry vanilla bang is nine and a half. White monsters ten and a half. I mean I've almost drank this whole thing. Me too. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with nine and a half on this. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Nine and a half, rehab. Plus you get some other Jargon on the back of it, electrolytes, advanced hydration, coconut water. This is a good drink. Nine and a half. All right, I'm going to go get loose. Plan is to hit some bombs. Uh, try not to suck. It's always 50-50 chance, so who knows? I'll see you back in the cage. Go long bat first. You know the drill. Get loose. Find the barrel. Try to get my barrel in a good spot to go fast, and hopefully we will go fast. JP, shut the thing down. We're doing things a little different today. We talked about doing the doing the blast factor number or the smash factor, not, not the blast factor. That's blast. We use diamond kinetics. The smash factor number on the bats. That may be something we release today, maybe not. We're going to test it out, see how it goes. That's 85. This could go really good because I did not hit that good. Woo! Positive start. Swing and miss. It's just part of it. Don't get too, don't get too worked up if you swing and miss. Three. Okay. Okay. A couple more. I like it. Let me pick my foot up higher. We'll go big leg kick today. <sighs> Gotta be on time, whatever you decide to do. It doesn't really matter. One more with the long bat. I'll go short bat and then we'll get this we'll get this meta going. They tell me this meta's good. 
was that? 91.8. <laughs> One more. That's in the air, too. I've been frustrated with my, my, my hitting performance in the last few videos. I'll be honest. Like, I told you my bat speed's been frustrating, so I've done a couple things in my training and recovery that I think will help my bat speed. Um, and so we'll hopefully, ow, that hurt. We'll hopefully see, man, I jammed my wrist up right there. Um, that we'll see some return on this investment. Tested my grip strength this morning. I told one, grip strength was one of the things. Been working on my back a little bit with my Mark Pro. If you don't have a Mark Pro, it is such a good recovery tool. I don't, I don't know how every baseball player doesn't have one. We have one for our guys, girls, in the gym. Been working on my forearms and my back with the Mark Pro. One more with the short bat, and then we'll go. Early returns on what I've done. Good 91.8 with my uh, long bat. 2021 meta first, my first take on this, huge barrel. Most of these bats are balanced, best I can tell. I don't have a great feel for drop five bats. Uh, the Green Goat's the best one we've done. We did the Marucci Cat9 pastime two-piece composite. It was nice. This is a, I think this is, this is a three-piece. Most of these metas are three pieces. And so we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully I can go to 100. That's my goal. Drop fives, I, I just want to go to 100. If I can be on time a few times. May go 100. That's maybe 100. <laughs> out of the gate, I smashed the machine. 95 out of the gate. 63 barrel, though. That's not great. But we'll go with it. This bat sounds nice. It sounds more in the world of the of the green goat it sounds like that that bodily that bodily sound <sighs> that's my juice right there 91 8 i think i unplugged the machine no i didn't no i did i get that ball right back up the middle low the machine cord runs in there quick break and give me a get me a rest right out of the gate Yeah. What's my bat speed there? 66, nice. 31 acceleration. Not only 92 off the barrel, and I hit that on the barrel. I feel really good today. I do, I feel really good today. I'll be happier if my attack angles are not negative five the whole time. I feel good though. I feel good though. 64. I need to be up up around 70 bat speed. I got my dead center juice going today. If I can get one pull side though, 64. If I can get one pull side though. Early. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine my timing being iffy. Whoa, get off me ball. Jammed. I think I got that off the handle, but again, you get no ringing in, in, in these two pieces, especially in the composite world. Backside juice. That's probably slow bat speed. That go out almost. 318. Tell you what, it feels good to be able to turn better than I have been. My back's been locked up. What's my back speed? 65 at 7? I'll live with 7 degrees up. Between 5 and 15. Between 5 and 15, because you got to think the, the window for the pitch down is negative 5 to 15, depending upon fastball, breaking ball. 
So if you can kind of build something that stays consistently in that window, they're certainly going to be like that's not a great pitch. So it, the, it's going to vary on pitch location, pitch type, all those things. But you know, consistently. I get no read on a pull side ball in the air. Dag going it. Man, we misread one and I finally got one pull side. I am turning really smoothly though. My back feels is good. I've done a few different things with the Mark Pro pad placements and things on my back since I did the last video on Tuesday. Just to try to get my back, to, my low back to loosen up and my forearms to be better. 94.5 out of the gate. I think I can hit it. It's my bad speed there. Be better. Yeah. I'm going to try to really swing at a few. Did miss that one too? Yeah. We're missing a few balls. We didn't get that one. 97.6. 97.65 bat speed. 16 degrees up. I'm telling you, once I got my left side to free up so I can bend, I mean, that's everything. That's everything if we're talking about attack angle. That's everything in your ability to, to stay connected and then just tilt and bend. And I haven't had that ability. 91 1. 11 degrees up. See what happens when you, when you actually. It's not always mechanical. We talked about this in several ways. It's not always your mechanics. You know, it could be fatigue. It could be some physical limitation in your hip or your low back that doesn't allow you to side bend. So you have to address all of these things in training because you can't just say your mechanics are this because your mechanics are just going to be like a byproduct of your interaction with this physical mobility, stability, strength. Perception, there's a lot that goes into hitting a ball well. Timing, obviously. Um, you can throw time. If you can't, if you got a great swing and you can't time a ball, and you can't vary your timing of a ball, then that's 67 bat speed. I'm feeling good, I'm telling you. I have no discomfort in my low back at all. And usually, usually for my whole life, my left side, my left hip has been limiting my ability to, to do, get into positions. <sighs> Little backside 89. I need to hit a homer with this bat. I need to hit a homer with this bat. I've hit a homer, I think, with every, uh, with every 96-1, with every drop five bat I, I, uh, I swing. Yeah, hard though. I tell you, I swear that shortstop, he's scared. <laughs> he's at least, he's at least, when I come up, he's at least like, oh man, this is going to be hit hard at me. <laughs> Whoa, that was such a good pitch. I'm trying to like barrel tip a little bit too. I typically just try to like lock it in and turn fast, but I can get a little extra juice today. Ooh. 341. I'm playing. I put it on. Look at the 69 barrel though. Ooh. That's not going to go out. It's not hard enough. My, look at my attack angles though. How much better. And I swear to you, I am doing nothing different. Nothing. I just. Before I couldn't get into a position to where my barrel was working that way. Just physically I couldn't do it. But today I'm doing better. Oh, gosh. It's off the end. No vibration though. Again, no vibration in this thing. You hit the thing off the end all day. Somebody brought me another retro bat yesterday, 1991. He brought it in and said, here, here you can hit this. And I looked at it and I said, whew. My hands are already ringing just looking at it. <laughs> so that'll probably be our next episode is that 1991 retro bat, which my hands ring just thinking about it. <laughs> yes, yeah, I may get a few. I think it's going to be pretty hot, though. 
I've just got this sneaking suspicion that it's gonna be pretty hot. That's gonna, that's not gonna read. I think I fouled that over the hit track. Again, attack angle has to do with late too. Like you just gotta think you hit the ball deeper. Oh, lock me up. <laughs> I'm trying not to hurt my knee either. Like I'm trying not to torque my knee. That's off the handle. My bat speed is good though. What's my best so far over there? What does it say on the screen? Down there at the bottom. On the on the on the computer screen. 98 flat. I think it's like 98.6 or 98.5. Gotta go a hundred, man. Oh, gosh. Jam me. 66 though. My bat speed's, yeah, it's good. I haven't been to 70 yet. This will be it right here. 99.1, 71 bat speed. Gosh, you gotta go over 100. Come on, man. Bigger leg kick. Bigger leg kick, bigger bat tip. Oh, gosh. It should give me my bat speed there, yeah. Oh man, how about the, I'm, I'm encouraged by this. I actually feel good about this performance for the first time in about three videos. I gotta go over 100 though. I haven't been over 100 in a bit. Surely we're not glitching. Okay, we had to cut the video short. Technical difficulties in the main computer were glitching out. That happened sometimes, didn't want to keep going. Felt that the, felt like we gave people what they wanted though. 99.1, little disappointment on the bat flip. Didn't get a good bat flip to end it. Usually try to do that. This bat's, this bat's pretty good. I, I mean, I guess the more I hit drop five bats, the more I realize that the green goat is literally the goat. I mean, it was seven, eight, because my bat speed was good today. I felt good, my turn was good. I was in the upper sixes, low 70 once, uh, but the green goat is just, and I think that, I think it's banned. I honestly think it's banned. So we need to maybe get another DeMarini, uh, couple of DeMarinis and test them out to see how they compare to the Green Goat. This bat again, it's a good option. Big barrel, no sting, hot off the barrel, 99.1. Same category as the Marucci Cat 9 pastime. I would think I went 99.6 with that. Um, hit more balls in the air today, which is always valuable. Doesn't matter to you in the video. You just want to see the top end velo. Maybe we'll get a smash factor number on this. I will work on that today, see if I can get that out. Uh, try to explain that maybe in another video. That is all. 2021 Louisville Slugger Meta dropped five. Good bat, liked it. Uh, be sure to stop by the store, buy some merch. Uh, click on the, I'm gonna put a little button up here so you can click the button and go to the store. I figured out how to do that in the energy drink review videos. How to put the, you know when the little thing flashes across the top? I figured out how to do that. Always learning. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. I just close my eyes and think.